I'm Jimmy Mazer, the Community Partnership Director here at Goddard House Assisted Living in Brookline. Being involved with the community has been part of our Goddard House mission since we were founded all the way back in 1849. Goddard House Assisted Living has opened in 1996 and we've been part of our Greater Point neighborhood ever since then. And part of what makes us a great community for older adults is the community. Brookline offers terrific resources, especially the people who are open, civic-minded, and engaging, and who offer tremendous knowledge and talent that's generously shared. It's fun because we do pleasant things, and maybe a couple dozen people do it together. And then we also do individual exercises on machine. We're just a few minutes from Boston with its great academic, cultural, and medical institutions, but we've got that small town close-knit feel. That synergy created by being located in a town adjacent to a world-class city makes this really a field of dreams community to work in and to live in for our residents. Here are some of our partnerships that we share today. Um, these are just a few of the many organizations that we work with on a regular basis to support our, our own older adult residents and our residents who have Alzheimer's disease, as well as the older adults who live in Brookline out in the community. Here's our partnerships. The Brookline Senior Center, the Brookline Community Aging Network, National Public Radio's From the Top, Artists for Alzheimer's, the American Repertory Theater's Community Connections Program, Lesley University, Berkeley College of Music, Green City Growers, I should mention that we have our own organic farm here on site, and the Brookline Chamber of Commerce. Creating a fitness program with a partner like Forever Fit really challenges stereotypes about aging. Even 25 years ago, we didn't have a population of people in their 80s, 90s, and even past 100 who exercise on a regular basis and train in a gym every single day. Well, I've been here for five years and I've gone through many exercise programs, but I think that this one is the best one I have ever seen or, or participated in. Hi, my name is Chris Parchman, owner of Forever Fit. Forever Fit provides in-home exercise programs specific to seniors in the Boston area. We work with the Goddard House in Brookline six days a week, helping their residents move better, feel better, and experience an overall better quality of life when they exercise with one of our certified and experienced exercise professionals. At the Goddard House, we conduct group exercise classes and personalized training sessions in their exercise studio. Our programs incorporate resistance bands, dumbbells, balls, and machines that are provided at the Goddard House. Residents of all fitness levels participate in our programs, including individuals with Alzheimer's, dementia, arthritis, Parkinson's, osteoporosis, prosthetics, walkers, and wheelchairs. Today, I will be taking you through an exercise class like we do at the Goddard House that will help you to improve your mobility, strength, balance, flexibility, and endurance. The exercises will be performed seated and standing using your body weight and dumbbells that can be substituted with any object that you can find around your house weighing between one to five pounds. A soup can may be a good place to start. Please go through a range of motion that feels comfortable to you with each exercise. Also, you can modify exercises as needed or simply sit out any exercise you feel necessary. Feel free to perform any of the standing exercises while seated. We're going to start today's exercise program with a mobility section that serves as a warm-up to prepare our muscles for more in intense exercise as we go along the way. Begin by sitting in a chair with your feet flat on the floor, your chest up, and shoulders back. Each exercise will go for approximately five to 10 repetitions, so if you follow along with me, you'll be in the proper rep range. Begin by pulling the chin down into the chest and looking straight up to the ceiling to stretch 
the front and back part of the neck. Continuously alternating by lifting the chin up and pulling the chin back down. Remember to maintain proper posture as you are moving your head up and down, stretching the front and back part of the neck. We're going to move to the lateral flexion of the neck by tilting the head side to side, continuously alternating, stretching out the side part of the neck. You should feel slight tension as you gently pull your ear down to the shoulder, alternating continuously back and forth. Come back to center. Take the shoulders and circle the shoulders forward, shrugging the shoulders up and around in a circular motion to loosen up the shoulder joint. We'll go for 10 repetitions. If you've been counting along with me, we're on 8, 9, and 10. And then let's do that backwards, going in the opposite direction, circling the shoulders. Backward circles, shrugging up and around, loosening up the shoulder joint, going in the opposite direction as before. And relax. Take the arms now, reach the arms up and around, making large arm circles. So now we're loosening up the chest, shoulder, and back muscles by doing large circles rotating the arms forward and bring the arms down and relax. Take the arms and circle backwards, big arm circles going in a backwards motion and we'll do this for approximately 10 repetitions. Reach up and around stretching out the chest back and shoulders and relax the arms down to your side. Take the hands, circle the hands rotating at the wrists to loosen up the wrists and forearms. And then go in the opposite direction, circling the hands, rotating around the wrists and relax the hands down. We're now going to take the hands, hold them up by your sides, open and close the hands, stretching out the fingers. Make a tight fist and stretch your fingers out as wide as possible. Opening and closing the hands. Make a tight fist and stretch the fingers out. Continuously alternating from a hand open position to hand close. Open and close the hands. Now hold the hands open, touch the pointer finger down to your thumb, release, middle finger touch to your thumb, release, ring finger to your thumb, release, and then little finger touch to your thumb, release. And we'll go through that one more time, working on hand coordination. Touch the pointer finger to your thumb, release, middle finger touch to your thumb, and release, ring finger touch to your thumb, release, little finger touch to your thumb, release and bring the hands down to your side. We're going to now touch our toes by reaching down to the floor towards the feet as far as you can while remaining in your chair and then sit up nice and tall, lifting the chest, pulling the shoulders back. This will stretch the back and the leg muscles. You're going to reach forward, stretching out the back and the feet and the legs. And sit up nice and tall, lifting the chest, pulling back the shoulders. Try to go a little bit farther down each time, alternating back and forth. We'll do a couple more repetitions down to the floor. Sit up nice and tall and we'll do that one more time. Reach all the way down to the floor, stretching out the back and legs. And sit up nice and tall and relax. 
Hang the arms over the chair if you have armrests. Place them on top of the armrests. Sit tall with your chest up, shoulders back for proper posture. And we're going to laterally bend side to side, trying to reach down to the floor, continuously alternating. Try to stretch a little bit farther each repetition as we bend off to the side. Continuously alternating, right to left, maintaining proper posture. Try to stretch a little bit farther each repetition as you bend side to side. And come back to the center. Now place the hands on the armrests of your chair. We're going to perform a hip hike by lifting the hip out of the chair, driving the knee up and across the chest alternating back and forth, hiking the hip side to side. And come back to the center. We're going to loosen up the hips now by taking our leg and performing big leg circles, as big as you can go. Nice big leg circles loosening up the hip. and then stop and go in the opposite direction. Rotating through the hip, circling the leg. And place your foot down, switch legs, take the leg and begin to circle as big as you can go, loosening the hip. Try to maintain posture as you're circling your leg by keeping your chest up tall. And stop and let's reverse direction. Same leg, circling, loosening up the hip joint. Go ahead and place your foot down onto the floor. Take a break for a moment and we're going to proceed on to the ankle circles to loosen up the ankle joint. Let's lift our feet off the floor, circle the feet, rotating through the ankle. Nice big ankle circles. And then let's go in the opposite direction, circling our feet, rotating around the ankle, loosening up the ankle joint. Relax, place the feet down momentarily to take a little break. And now lift the feet up once again and point the toes forward and pull them back up towards your body. Point the toes forward and pull them back. Stretching out the calf, which is the back of the lower leg, and the shin. Pointing the toes forward and pulling them back. Moving through the ankle. Toes forward and back. Place the feet down and relax. We're going to begin with the mobility section that serves as a warm-up to loosen up the muscles from head to toe before we move on to more intense exercises. For this section, please find a chair and sit up nice and tall with your chest up, shoulders back, and try to follow along as best as you can. We're going to begin with the neck by slowly tilting the head side to side, getting a stretch in the side of the neck. continuously alternating. You should only feel slight tension in the stretch. Bring the head back to the center. We're going to do another neck stretch by looking down to the floor, stretching out the back part of the neck, and then look up to the ceiling, stretching out the front part of the neck. Alternate continuously, trying to pull the chin a little bit higher to the ceiling as you loosen up and a little bit further into your chest to increase the stretch. And we'll go back and forth a couple more times up to the ceiling and down to the floor. And last time, look up and look all the way down. Slowly bring your head back to the center and we'll move on 
to the shoulders. We're going to circle the shoulders forward by shrugging them up to the ears and rotating around in a circular motion, loosening up the shoulders. Again, we are doing forward circles by shrugging the shoulders up to your ears and rotating them forward. Relax. And then we're going to do the shoulder circles going backwards by shrugging the shoulders up to the ears and rolling them back in a slow and controlled motion. Remember to maintain proper posture as you're circling the shoulders by sitting up as tall as you can. Chest up, shoulders back, and relax the shoulders down. We're going to move to arm circles. Perform the arm circle by taking the hands, lifting them up to the side, all the way up to the ceiling, and rotating in a big circle. As big as you can go, loosening up the shoulder, chest, and back. Big circles, trying to reach a little bit higher. Each repetition, reaching up out to the side and around, increasing the stretch and the range of motion as you loosen up. Slowly bring the arms to the side, and let's go in the opposite direction with the arm circles. Reach up and around, loosening up the chest, shoulder, and back. Big arm circles, again trying to increase the range of motion as you loosen up. We'll do a couple more arm circles together. Reach up a little bit higher this time, slowly lower down, and one last time, big arm circles, and slowly come back to the center. Pause. And we'll move on to the next exercise, taking our hands and rotate them in a circular motion, loosening up the wrists. So you're taking your hands, circling at the wrist joint. Nice big hand circles. Stop, and then we're going to go in the opposite direction, taking your hands, circling, loosening up the wrists. Try to increase the range of motion, each circle. and relax. Place your hands down to the side momentarily to rest your arms. And then we're going to do one more exercise for the hands. We're going to take the hands, lift them up, and then open and close the hands, stretching out the fingers and the wrists. Open and close. Open and close, making a tight fist and stretching your fingers out nice and wide continuously alternating between an open position and a close. Stretch the fingers out as wide as possible and then clench them into a fist. Stretching out the finger muscles. Open and close the hands. Take the hands and rest them down to the side. Let's get back into our proper posture, lifting the chest up, pull the shoulders back, and we're going to go into a lateral bend by reaching down to the side over the armrests and then alternating to the other side, bending at the torso. So we're going side to side, try to stretch a little further down to the floor each repetition. As you warm up, your range of motion should increase. So we're going to go a little further, touch the floor if you're able to side to side lateral bending through the torso. You should feel a slight stretch through the side of your body here. Alternating back and forth. And come back to the middle. Place your hands on the armrest for the next exercise. We're going to do a hip hike by taking the knee and driving it up and across the body, hiking our hip 
out of our seat and we'll alternate continuously from right to left, driving the knee up and across the body, hiking the hip out of your seat. This is the hip hike. Rocking side to side, holding on to the armrest for support, and doing your best to maintain posture by sitting up nice and tall as we rock side to side, driving the knee up and across your body, hiking your hip. We'll do one more each. And come back to the center. Now, take your hands and reach as far as you can to the floor towards your toes, stretching out the back and legs, and then slowly sit up nice and tall, pulling the arms back, lifting the chest, and squeezing the shoulder blades back and together. Again, reach down to the floor. Be sure to stay in your seat, stretching out the lower back and legs. And then sit up nice and tall, pulling the arms back and together. Reach down to the floor, trying to go a little bit further each repetition. And slowly sit up nice and tall. And we'll do two more together. Reach all the way down to the floor. Again, be sure to stay in your seat and sit up nice and tall. You should be feeling a stretch in your lower back and the back of your upper legs called the hamstrings. And relax. We're going to move to the hip circle. Start by placing the hands on the armrest to stabilize yourself. As we take our leg, lift the foot off the floor and do a big circular motion with the entire leg, circling, increasing the range of motion as you warm up. Be sure to go through a range of motion that is comfortable to you on this exercise. So we're taking the leg and circling as big as we can. And then we're going to stop. You can place the foot down momentarily to rest. And then remaining with the same leg, we're going to circle in the opposite direction. Circle the leg as big as you can. Nice big leg circles. And this is to loosen up the hip. Place your foot down and let's repeat the exercise on the opposite leg. Take your leg and begin to circle. Rotating through your hip. 